City won their FA Cup beating against Swansea. Swansea are flying high in the English Championship this season. It's City's 15th straight win in all competitions. They really are in the zone, aren't they, Stevie? Yeah, I mean, no real surprise that they, they cruised this game. Uh, I guess I guess initially when you see that he had made it, what, at least six or seven changes to the team that, that beat Liverpool, then you think Swansea may have a chance. But, you know, Swansea did the same. Uh, you mentioned they're flying high. They're, my goodness, if they win the game in hand, they could be top of the championship. And so really Premier League football is most important for them. So they they played a, a depleted team as well. So no, no. <laughs> No surprise. Uh, completely dominated by City. Uh, two good goals, one fluke, and a consolation for Swansea. So, in the end, a 3-1 win, which is exactly what we probably all thought. Are you telling me Kyle Walker didn't mean that? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, at the end of the day, it's, it's actually a great ball uh, because he puts it in a dangerous area uh, and nobody really takes charge. Uh, defenders miss the kick. Uh, Jesus misses his kick. That puts the goalie off and the thing ends up in the back of the net. Sometimes it happens. But at the end of the day, it's because it's a great ball uh, that that sort of uh, calamitous uh, football uh, happens. Depth's just another thing in Manchester City's favour this season, though, Stevie, as you mentioned, even with changes, some of the names that Pep Guardiola can still field can only help them with all the games they've got going forward. Yeah, well, it's funny because I'm I'm starting by saying, well, they've made six or seven changes, and then of course the players they've got coming in are going to they would play in, in what ninety percent maybe of, of the rest of the Premier League. Um, so it's begin it's beginning to get a bit harder to decide who's a who's a first team player and who's not. You know, Kyle Walker coming in, he's a guy that everybody thinks should be starting, but he's not always starting. So it just kind of shows the strength and depth that, that City have. And, and clearly it was too much for Swansea. A bit of, yeah, a bit of a US influence on both sides. Zach Stefan, yeah. obviously, on the City side. Paul Ariola, Jordan Morris with Swansea. Considering those other two playing at Swansea, do you think the English Championship's a good place to go and develop as a player for these young US players? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's a step up. You know, certainly coming, Jordan Morris coming from MLS, it's a step up in pace. And... and and that, if, if that's a stepping stone to the Premier League, because the Premier League, again, is another step up, then that would make sense, the, particularly an outfield player um, going to the Championship. And John Morris showed in the first half that he can trouble some defences. He His pace a couple of times troubled the, the City back line. Nothing came of it, but uh, you you saw he was there and he made some sort of an impression. Zach Stefan, on the other hand, didn't have a chance with the goal he lost. Uh, went through Garcia's legs. He saw it late. It went in the bottom corner. So, you know, both guys didn't do anything wrong. Um, neither really had too much opportunity to, to say shine, shall we say. Uh, but I guess to answer your question, yes, I think the championship's a good stepping stone, particularly for uh, Jordan Morris. That was only the sixth goal conceded by City in 22 games. Just goes to show you that... Pep Guardiola's side, whichever team you're putting out there, know exactly what they're doing at the back this season. Yeah, and, and a lot of defending is about belief. You know, if you step on the field, regardless of the name on the jersey, if you're not quite sure what's going on around you, then mistakes happen. You know, you get yourself out of position. Things just find a little way of going wrong. But when you step on the field with a belief that not only are you going to do your job, but do it well, and everybody around you is, and that even if it gets past your back four, that your goal is going to make a save, you know, when you have that sort of attitude, that that can make an extra an extra difference as well. When it comes to defending, and, and it seems like right now, everybody in a City jersey believes that they're not going to lose goals or make mistakes. Would you bet against them for the domestic treble this season? Absolutely not. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.